wanted to be a judge who knows just what is right and wrong and be good and be strong and on my swan up in the air I'm flying searching for justice can't just see me trying right is the reason I go on it is it's Mr. Beagles it doesn't count it but I just feel that way because I am the lawyer who's defending Mr. Mouse yes but it's sir Push it, but because I'm a good liar, I know what we can do. Let's hear the judge. Yes, because only our friend Klaus can solve it. I'm trying to work. <coughs> I do. I'm just trying to keep the house clean. Seems all you think about is sweeping. <sighs> oh. Difficult to find this funny. Mm, sorry. What's the matter with you, you ninny? Are you trying to kill someone? Come on, it's not my fault. I was just pushing this big hunk of cheese as best I could, and it got away from me. Get away from me before I sweep you out of the door with the rest of the trash. Right now, Danny. Calm down now. Danny, what's gotten into you? You should know better than to play tricks like this. It wasn't a trick or a joke, Judge. This isn't just any ordinary hunk of cheese. It's the main piece of evidence in a case that you're going to be working on very shortly. I was just resting at the door a while and it happened to roll away. Danny, whatever are you talking about? A fox and a magpie were arguing. They were fighting over the cheese, so I said you would judge who the rightful owner is. You see, I'm glad you didn't sweep him out, Juliana. He was only doing his job. You always stick up for him. Why shouldn't I if he was bringing me a case? Juliana, sorry, forgive me for frightening you so. Well, all right, Danny, you're forgiven this time. Hello, a messenger with a letter. Let me see that. Hmm. 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 You have that troubled look on your face. Has that letter brought a case for you to solve? It's not exactly a case. It's more like a mystery. Danny, get Henry ready. We're going on a long journey across the ocean. Where exactly will we be going to? This letter was sent by my Spanish friend Pedro. He writes of some trouble and asks that we come to Spain immediately. He doesn't say what the trouble is, but the tone of the letter certainly sounds urgent. Juliana, would you be so good as to give our messenger friend something to eat? He looks quite hungry. Certainly. Can I serve him a bit of that cheese Danny brought in? 
Don't you dare. I'm sorry if this cheese is in your way, Juliana, but it's official evidence. Just put it where it won't bother you. Oh, that's very easy for you to say. It weighs ten times as much as me. I can't move that thing myself. Well, then let it sit there and we'll deal with it when we return. Are you going to walk out of here? Leaving this thing in the middle of my living room? Always complaining, right, Daddy? <laughs> right. Goodbye, Juliana. Wish us luck. <clears throat> With this good weather, the flight to Spain has taken less time than I imagined. Isn't Spain beautiful at this time of year? It makes my head think of love, not work. Let's pay attention to more serious matters, shall we? I'm not exactly sure where my friend Pedro's forest is, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe those two storks could help us zero in on it. Let's fly over and ask them for directions. Good idea. Storks have always been helpful to us. Take us down, Henry. Uh, excuse me. Could we have a minute of your time? We were wondering if you could help us. But it appears you're right in the middle of a disagreement. It seems these two are fighting over who has the right to build her nest in the steeple this year. One says all the other steeples in town are taken. She has nowhere to raise a family. Looks like we gnomes are not the only ones who run into a housing shortage from time to time. <laughs> will you both please stop arguing? I will find you a solution that's both fair and easily understood. I declare that both of you have an equal right here. You can both build your nests in this steeple. Here's a simple sketch of how you'll do it. As you can see from the sketch, I've divided the steeple in two so you can each build your nest using half the area. And you will be friends, agreed? Now you can give us a bit of help. Do either of you know where the gnome Pedro lives? Oh, that's great! Now they're arguing over which one of them's going to take us there. That's enough, that's enough. I've decided that you can both lead us to Pedro's forest, and that is my final decision, shall we? These storks are so grateful and anxious to please. They're really enjoying carrying Danny and I. Henry, <laughs> he doesn't mind at all. Ah, the forest. My intuition is telling me we're getting very near. Judge, I see a group of gnomes just up ahead. Uh-huh. Ah, Pedro. Klaus. It's been a long time. It's good to see you again, my old friend. Not half as good as it is to see you, my famous comrade. Carmen, you're looking lovelier than ever. You always were able to charm me with words, Klaus. You remember our children, don't you? Isidro and Santiago? Of course I do. Oh, yes, and this is my assistant, Danny. It's an honor and a privilege to meet all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, Pedro, your letter said you were having some serious trouble. Tell me about it. Later. First, you have to sample our hospitality, Spanish style. We'll have plenty of time to think about trouble. <laughs> this is a special grape juice we fermented just for you. This juice will go perfectly with that gazpacho and paella that I've had my eye on. It looks like Danny is really enjoying himself. This is great! My mother made this roll with the special honey. Have another. Terrific! Good. These are the most delicious rolls I've ever eaten. Thanks. What's in the dough? I can tell you. The ingredients are secret, so don't ask me anything more about it. Just enjoy it. All right, I won't ask as long as I can have a few more of them, and another helping of custard would be Danny, very neat. Would you like to dance? <laughs> Uh, Come on, let's see those dancing I, uh, feet, Danny. It's not every day a pretty girl asks you. Fellas, to be perfectly honest with you, I have to admit I'm not a very good dancer, so... Uh... Oh, come on, Danny. How can you refuse this lovely girl? Do not be shy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, as long as you insist. <laughs> Follow me. Olay! Uh, uh, Olay! Last night, the famous Spanish hospitality abounded. We dined and danced into the evening. But now that it's morning, it's time to take Pedro aside to pursue the purpose of my visit. 
But I have this great cheese case waiting for me at home and can't stay that long. Have patience, my friend. You will soon see with your own eyes why I have summoned you here. Tell me, is it difficult to play the castanets? There is nothing like trying it. Here, I have a pair. All right. Now, don't laugh at me if I mess up. Oh. <laughs> That's very good. Oh! oh. <gasps> hey, come back here! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh. Danny! You may be a beginner at casting, yes, but you sure are graceful. Nice jump. Thank you. Perhaps we'd better save the castanets for later. We'll find our problem atop this hill. Oh, good heavens, Pedro, what has happened here? <gasps> it's the result of just one of a series of awful forest fires we've been having lately. Everything burned, life destroyed. Nothing is safe, not the plant life, nor the trees, nor the birds and animals. When the first fire occurred, a group of us ran to the forest to help our animal friends escape and try to discover the cause. At first, we thought it was men, campers or drifters, who were careless with their campfires and cigarettes. But we were wrong, as we could never find any men fleeing the scene during the outbreak of the fires. I wouldn't discount men being the cause yet. That's right. Men have been known to cause so many of the world's ills. I judge that Danny and I make a complete study of the terrain. That might not be wise. Not being from here, you don't know the area. There could be danger. Say, I know this forest like the back of my hand, Father. I will guide them. Very well, son. But I remind all of you, be very careful. While Danny Santiago and I are looking for clues, Pedro has set off for home and other pressing matters. Look, a column of smoke. This is it. The break we're looking for. We must hurry if we're going to nab them. This is a full-fledged fire. <coughs> 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 I can't breathe! Over there! <gasps> Someone built the fire and left it. A wood pile. Someone is sure intent on burning down this forest. We've got to find him. Search for him now? We can't let this burn, can we? The three of us have got to try to put this fire out. But how? There is only the three of us. Ah, perhaps we could ask that wolf to ask some of his friends to help. Mr. Wolf, we need the help of you and your pack to put out this terrible fire. Hmm. Let's go. If you could take us to your lair, I'd be glad to explain the situation. Our good friend, the wolf, has agreed to take us to his pack so that we may enlist their help. Come on. The wolf is among the swiftest and most sure-footed creatures in the forest. Ah, he's taking us to higher ground, to where he and his pack make their home. They must be unaffected by the fires up here, but surely not unaware of them. Greetings, one and all. My name is Klaus. That silver wolf on top of the rock there must be their leader. I've got to make a sketch of him. Thank you for granting me an audience. Oh, Chief of the Wolves, we are in great danger and come to you to ask your assistance. There is a fire raging right now, growing more fierce by the second. It is just one of many fires, all of which I am sure have not escaped your attention. If this fire is allowed to spread, it will destroy the entire forest. But if we work together, we might be able to put it out. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation, my friends. Full steam ahead, fellow firefighters! Onward! The fire's gotten much worse. Some of you start stamping out the flames while the others dig trenches around the fire. The trenches will prevent it from spreading. Hmm.
My, but they're quick to follow orders. Hard workers, too. A fantastic job. Really, a thousand thank yous to you one and all. We're grateful. <laughs> The fire's out, but we're still faced with our first problem. That's right. The question remains, who is starting all of them? I have a feeling that if we continue to explore the area, we will find the answer. <gasps> Up ahead, look there! It looks like there's been a fire there recently. This is criminal. Another whole section of the forest burned and riddled with trash as well. Looks like we're right on their trail. Don't look now, but I see an awful lot of smoke rising over there. Huh? Yes. Looks like we can catch our culprits red-handed. Maybe we should go back and get some more of our fellow gnomes to help us, because after all, you don't really know what you are up against, ah, do you? Ah, if we don't sneak up on them now, we may lose them. Let's go. Ah, burn, fire, oh. burn! <laughs> I love this! <laughs> oh, Holly, there's nothing like a good, clean fire to warm my heart. <laughs> <laughs> you made me burn my tail on purpose, you blockhead! Nobody does that much oh. way with it. <laughs> I'm on fire! Whoa. <laughs> it's Holler and Pit in the gang. Santiago was right. We do need some help. Let's run and tell the others. Yes, friends, the trolls are responsible, and we have to fight fire with fire. Now, I'll open the floor for any proposals. We should get them, we should get them, we should get them. Silence. Let's hear these suggestions one at a time, Pilar. Thank you. I think that we should... I think that we... I think I forgot what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be serious, shall we? Pilar, you try to remember. Meanwhile, we hear from Javier. <laughs> Thank you. We had to teach him a lesson. Pedro, you're right. Fight fire with fire. Teach him a lesson. That's what I say. Teach him a lesson. We all agree, Javier. What we're trying to do at the moment is to come up with a solution as to what we're going to do to teach him a lesson. Do you know? Sorry, Pedro, I have no definite ideas. If you'll allow me the floor, I'd like to make a proposal. Oh, yes, please do. Many years ago, my great-great-grandfather gave me a list of ingredients to a secret recipe. Now, this recipe will help us, but I'm going to need all your assistance to make sure it's right. I need two dandelions, a birch leaf, two chamomile flowers, Oh, that smells awful. To remind me to never let you cook in my kitchen. Carmen, this is not to be eaten. Hmm? We're not going to feed it to the trolls? Then what are we going to do with it? They'll see soon enough what one of your great-great-grandfathers can do, won't they, Judge? They'll not only see, they'll like the result. When I was a young gnome, I loved to see great-great-grandfather use this one. Sir? Yes? Does it have anything to do with being a young gnome? Yeah, give us a hint about the potion. You'll both see for yourself all in good time. Careful there, young lady. This is a potent mixture. All right, my potion is now ready. Now I want every gnome in the community, except for the young children, to take a small portion of the potion and place it on anything that the trolls might use to start a fire. Wood, leaves, bottles, anything. Then comes the good part. Sit and watch. I hope our little army has doused everything that might be in the past. <laughs> the Let's stop here. Yeah, this looks like a good place. I had a feeling those two would build their fire right in this path, where they're going to be in for a surprise. <laughs> Lots of leaves and wood. Perfect spot for a fire. I soaked those leaves with your potion. Hey, let me start the you fire. You don't know what you're doing when it comes to starting fires. You're nothing but an idiot. Hey, dummy, who are you calling an idiot? Oh, I am Ah, we shouldn't be fighting. We should be starting a fire. Yeah, and a big one. What's going on? The world is exploding! I'm getting out of here! Run for your life! Do not start any more fire! Look out! Let's get in the room! Ha! You're 
secret potion sure taught those two a lesson. Well, my good friends, the time has come for us to say goodbye. We'll never forget what you have done for us. Oh, yes, and thank you for the formula for the fireworks. And thank you, Carmen, for giving me your recipe for gazpacho. Everyone, let's give our friends a final cheer. <laughs> Gee, Judge, do we really have to leave right this minute? We should be going, Danny. Danny, take my cousins with you. You can practice playing them at home. I think the art of drawing is more up my alley. But, uh, Santiago, may I ask a favor of you? Of course you can. You can ask me for anything. Can I take a few of those delicious rolls home? Of course. And perhaps a little custard? <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's the matter with you? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Didn't you hear yourself? We're not starting any more fires. Mm, what's those two? <laughs> <laughs> Be still now. If you move too much, my hand will slip, and you'll end up looking silly. You're back. Well, don't just stand there silent, you two. How did everything go? Exceptionally fine. We solved the problem employing that old fireworks potion. We were treated royally as well. Now as to getting on to the next case, where's the cheese I asked you to keep? Oh, well, the cheese? It's all right where you left it. Just a moment, Juliana. You're not going to tell me something happened to it. It's right where you left it. It just looks different. Different? What are you saying? Maybe you better come in and take a look at it. I'll be right back, if I'm lucky. That cheese is important evidence. I hope nothing's happened to it. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, no! Juliana! Uh, look at it this way. The mice are happy. Yes, the mice might be happy, but what are we going to do about this? I still have the case to decide. What are you going to tell the magpie and the fox? What's your decision, Judge? I had intended to tell the two to share the cheese equally. What is worrying me, though, is how I'm going to explain to them all about the holes. Um, tell them that we've just added a few new ones. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, Schlitzweitz. Have any of you ever traveled to China? It's a country very different from ours in its architecture. Sometimes it's wildlife and it's customs. China is the place we'll be traveling to for our next adventure. And you can be sure we'll be facing danger and excitement. Don't miss our next episode. Keep on crying and there's no respect